14 minutes to go and I'm just looking around me in the uh, TV area here and some very, very disconsolate looking American commentators. I don't think they can quite believe what they see because this has been a pale shadow of the top American sides of the past. And I'm sorry if that sounds overcritical, but you always expect the Americans to be really strong at World Cups and this American side has simply not been, it's not been inspired at all. Which is why they're three goals down and on the back foot again here now. Formiga, is she going to try to do it all herself? She's got into the position and just misses the target. Swirling wide. Interesting, the Brazilian coach has decided not to make a single substitution as yet, which I Imagine is a, a sign of a real confidence in those players out there. Here they come once more. It is Marta. Is she on for another one here? Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Can she finish? Daniela Christian and Skelly saved it. 4 0 would have been total humiliation for the States and the worst ever defeat in the World Cup. It didn't quite happen, but the skill of Marta there had the crowd on its feet. Watch this, this is dazzling. Well, that's Maradona, Ronaldinho all rolled into one. What a shame that there wasn't a goal on the end of it, because it would have been replayed time after time after time. It may well still be. She is a fantastic talent, and she will light up the occasion on Sunday in Shanghai, I'm sure. It's not to say that Brazil will win because the current champions of Germany will be formidable opposition for the South Americans. The countdown is on here, 12 minutes away from that tantalising prospect. And the States will be left to battle for the right to claim third place against Norway. That's a tired looking clearance from Whitehill. Marta once again, the crowd just wanted to have the ball. Formiga, even she's showing some tricks now, going round in circles, trying to get the better of Dalmi. And doing so. Pass Masters at possession. Oh, wonderful from Marta, absolutely wonderful. Now finish it. Yes, she does. It's one of the great goals of the World Cup. It's inevitably scored by the world's greatest player. How they love it here in Hangzhou. Well, you can't contain a talent like that. Absolutely breathtaking, Marta. The Americans look bewildered and be bedraggled. But we've seen a dazzling show here from Brazil. And she takes the ball here. She's got Ellison at her back. She spins it around the defender, Johan Cruyff-like, takes it in and drills it hard through Scurry who, by contrast, has had a horrid night. But let's celebrate the skills of Marta, who now has ten World Cup goals in her history, seven in this tournament, and she is the star. How they love her here in Hangzhou. And there's still ten long, long minutes for the United States' torture to continue. I wouldn't like to be sitting next to her right now. Well, it's a capitulation. Might get worse here. This is aiming towards Cristiana, then towards Daniela. Well, I did say after that third goal, it could turn into a humiliation for the United States, and I'm afraid that's what it is. Cristiana, they'll want more now, and she'll want more, and she's got it through here for Daniela, and it's wide, just... She wants a goal. They all want one. Daniela thrashing the shot in. It was always going wide, though. And the United States simply have to retain some sort of professionalism through this last ten minutes, but it's been a harrowing night for him. And for everybody of an American persuasion. This will go down as a black night in the women's footballing history. It's the worst ever defeat. 
Whatever happens now, they've never conceded four before. And following on.